Hey, what is up everyone? Abbas here from Golden Motor. Today we're gonna make a short video on two of the most common questions that we get regarding the Bafang mid-drive programming. So the two questions that we get very frequently is that how do I program my throttle to be independent of my pedal assist levels? So as you know, the BBSO2 and the BBS HD, the stock, they come programmed where um, you get the same exact power as your pedal assist level. For example, if you have 20% power coming from your motor on pedal assist 2, your throttle is also going to give you 20% power. But a lot of people don't like that. They want their throttle to be independent of the pedal assist level. So I'm going to show you how to program that. And then the second question we get a lot is that how do I get my throttle to be working on pedal assist zero? So on pedal assist zero, your bike is, the motor is not, it's not on, right? So it's a regular bike, but some people just want the throttle if they're like going uphill or they're tired. They don't want to get any assist, but they just want to get throttle like a motorcycle. So I'm going to show you how to program those two things. Uh, the common ways of programming, the most common ways of programming are if you have a USB cable and if you have the Bafan config software on your laptop, you can plug this into your controller and boom, you can program it and I'll show you how to do it. Or if you have the Egg Rider um, Bluetooth display and if you have the app downloaded on your Android or your iPhone, uh, this connects to your phone and then you can just program it on your phone. And I'm gonna be using the Egg Rider today because it's much faster to do it this way. But again, the softwares are very similar. The parameters are very similar in both of them. And by the way, we're gonna make a detailed video on all the program programming that you could do on your Bafang soon. But today I'm just gonna answer these two questions. So let's do that. Okay, so I already have the Egg Rider installed on my bike and I already have it paired on the app on my Android. And again, if you have an iPhone, don't worry. Uh, you can also pair it with your iPhone. The app is available on our website. So um, I'm going to be doing a detailed video on how to work the Egg Rider display. Uh, it's very complicated, but again, like we did for the other displays, we're going to do a complete breakdown of it. But for now, we're just going to focus on the programming aspect. So when you're on this screen, if you want to go back, just press that button. And on the top left, you're going to press that tab. Let me zoom so you can see all the options. So the options are Bafang Basic, Bafang Pedal, Bafang Throttle, and Bafang Torque. Um, the first thing that I want to program is to have my uh, throttle independent of my pedal assist level. And again, the, the Bafang Config software on the laptop is very similar, similar uh, headings. Um, so you can do it both ways. Um, this is the one, the first one that says designated assist. I, want, I don't want it to be by display command. I want it to be a independent, a constant level whenever I press it. So I want it full, when I'm mountain biking, I want my throttle to be at full. So, or instead of doing all the way to nine, I'm just gonna have it at eight because I don't wanna blow up my controller, uh, instant torque all the time. So I already saved it to eight. To save it onto your controller, you would have to press the right button. So write it. And then if it says Bafang throttle right, okay. That means it saved it. So that is done. So now my throttle is independent of the pedal assist level. The second thing that we wanted to do was to have pedal assist at zero, I mean, to have throttle at zero. So where you would go is Bafang basic. And then over here, so this shows you how much assist you're getting at each pedal assist level. Uh, pedal assist zero, you're getting no uh, throttle. So I am gonna be changing this to one, and then also over here, one, done. And then again, make sure to write it so that it saves it onto your controller. And so it says Bafang basic, write okay, so done. So the last step you wanna do, make sure to save the settings is to, let me zoom out, is to turn off your uh, egg router display and then turn it back on. And now um, I have my controller programmed. So it's that simple. As long as you have an egg router or if you have a USB cable, you can do it fairly simply. Uh, we're gonna do a detailed programming video for the Bafang also, so stay tuned for that. Hope this video was helpful. Give us a thumbs up or a subscribe and we'll see you guys later.